Hi there. Today we are take, gonna take a look at a Chinese pen, which is uh, Jinhao 159. Here it's a uh, let's say a replica or an imitation of a Mont Blanc Meisterstück 146. These pens come in a variety of colors and trims. This particular one is an apple green color with chromium trims and it's a rather a large pen. I would say comparison on par with Mont Blanc 146 Meisterstück and here for comparison with a Pelican M800 you see it's a little bit longer and girthier. The pens from Jin Hao, the 159 model is quite heavy in the hand, is full metal body and it has a um, MIL finish and it's quite nice I must say from the way it looks the uh, barrel ends with a um, ring that imitates the end of a piston like you see here for for Pelican M800 while Pelican M800 if you unscrew it you open up you can withdraw ink and fill up the barrel this Jin Hao 159 it's not functional so it's only for decoration purposes here on the cap you have another chromium ring which is on it will have the the Jin Hao is written Jin Hao and then the model number 159 on the cap we have the Jin Hao logo on the clip which is a carriage pulled by a horse also the clip design is uh, unique to Jin Hao I think this doesn't resemble Mont Blanc in any ways the clip is quite hard but useful it's not it has some give so it's not unusable then the finial here ends up in a symmetric way to the end of the barrel we have here the finial the ring on which is attached this clip and the end is pretty much rounded off the, the cap unscrews with a little bit less than one turn and inside we see the uh, section the section is conical and this tapers down without any flare then we have the Jin Hao nib which is a steel nib number six I would guess and again with chromium trim here you can see that it says 80 karat gold plated 18 kgp whether that's the case or not nobody knows it has a very nice decoration and also the Jin Hao logo the carriage with the horseman and then Jin Hao name just below that it has a breather hole and the feed which you can see it here I think this is a plastic feed nothing spectacular and the tip size is medium between the barrel and the section we have chromium trim again with threads but these threads are not truly not sharp at all they are somehow embedded into the material and 
there's no really no discomfort if you hold it this way like I used to uh, to hold the pens here there is a slight step down between the barrel and the section and this step down I would say this is a little bit sharper than any of the threads for the um, cap the cap on inside also has threads but it's a plastic sleeve inside so the threads on the cap are plastic so that when you screw this in the pen it's quite smooth and make no, no screeching sound by looking at the interior of the metal of the cap we can see this the metal here it, uh, it is a color of brass so I would say the whole metal the whole um, pen is made out of brass it has a very nice and sturdy feel to it even if it drops it probably will will uh, damage the floor but the pen to the pen probably nothing will happen maybe just some slight ink uh, spill due to the shock if you open it, unscrew the barrel from the section, you will have the Jinhao converter. Again, this Jinhao converters can be also purchased separately. This is maybe a top model of converter from Jinhao, a little bit sturdier, not so flimsy made like the other one. So in principle, I would say they put more effort into this pen in general than maybe the other model like X450 and so on. The threads on the section to the barrel are metallic here, chromium trim for this particular model. And also inside the barrel we have, uh, as you can see here, the metallic threads, probably brass. And in itself, this barrel is quite heavy. I think this is the heaviest part of the pen. And all in all, this is not, this is a heavy pen, but I would say is quite well balanced. So it's not an unbalanced pen. It's quite pleasant to hold. You can see here, the, the height of the pen is well above the cusp of my hand so I can one can hold it comfortably without capping now with capping it's a little bit it's quite significantly back heavy so I wouldn't use it this way for me I will use it unposted unposted is just fine to the downside, I really outside other than this pen is heavy. I find no, I have no complaints about this pen. I think it's quite pleasant to use, and let's see next how it writes. Because this is such a turbulent color, and uh, some people might not like it, but it, it fits uh, maybe younger ages and so, and it's a good starter pen. I'm gonna fill this ink with uh, fill this pen with a diamine ink, which is a um, if you can see it here. Let's see. Uh, get this to focus. It's called Apple Glory ink, just because this green pen is green, it kind of apple green. I'm gonna fill this pen with Apple Glory. Uh, ink which is also very interesting uh, green so let's try it out not so easy because the the neck of the bottle is quite significantly narrower than the section it doesn't fully go in so it's a little bit of a struggle let me wipe out the pen and you will see the color of this ink is quite gorgeous i'm looking forward to see how this pen 
right. Okay. Again, I'm going to use this unposted medium sized nib. So, this is Jin Hao. Gonna let the camera focus on this text here. Gonna lock in the focus. So this Jin Hao 159 pen. It's a uh, medium steel nib. It is quite a smooth writer. No complaints here. The smoothness it's about maybe 2.53. It is um, the nib is um, it has a hard feel not so doesn't give any impression of flexing this pen can on also not be flexed at all there is no give to this nib it's very hard from wetness point of view I would say it's medium wet I'm also not sure what the properties of this ink are. The diamine is the first time I'm writing. But all in all, I have the feeling that this is a good starter pen. Good starter pen. I'm applying now no pressure. Pressure. And even for fast writing, This pen keeps up just fine, no skips, no hard starts, gives me the impression I have the same feeling when I write with this pen like for Visconti, uh, Rembrandt, which I reviewed in a previous uh, video and In no way is Jin Hao 159 inferior to the Visconti models. I would say Visconti have more beautiful designs, but um, from the point of view of the nib, the steel nibs that they have in Michelangelo, a uh, Rembrandt version or Van Gogh, then this Jin Hao writes pretty similar to it gives the same feel to the to the writing like you would have with this Jin Hao. It's a good starter pen. This can be purchased for less than five euros or five dollars that on eBay directly from China. Also depending on the quantities, you can go also different colors and trims you can get black and white black and gold black silver black chrome and so on it really resembles Mont Blanc of course the quality it's not that high and it's a heavy pen so for a man it's fine for a woman it might be too girthier and probably too heavy I would say for a for men is just fine. I like it very much and I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.